Welcome back. New tonight, local students made their way to Animal Kingdom for day three on the Cops Connecting with Kids Disney trip. 44 News reporter Amy Faisenbaker has been following along with the students all week. She takes us along to show just how much fun the kids are having. I'm with Princeton Community Middle School today here at Animal Kingdom. We plan on taking a tour of Kilimanjaro Safari, tackling Mount Everest, and so much more. To begin our Wednesday, we did what cops connecting with kids do best, sprinting to the front of the lines for the rope drop for the Avatar Flight of Passage ride. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. This 4D escapade entails flying on the back of a banshee over the vast land of Pandora. If the ocean water would like pop up, they made it seem like real life. And the sunsets were really pretty and we almost ran into like many animals. <laughs> Traveling on to Asia, the group went to find the Yeti, remaining captivated by Expedition Everest. What do you think of Everest? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely Isn't it pretty. Speeding through the Himalayas on a runaway train. Finally, the crew embarked on a guided tour of the African savanna, seeing crocodiles, zebras, and rhinoceros. The second day of fun continues to remind officers why they want to be a part of this life-changing trip. I've told this to 100 people, I'll tell it to 100 more. I look forward to this trip more than I do Christmas Day with my own two kids. Being able to see that investment into the youth in our community, not only provide this experience, but give them uh, inspiration uh, to continue being successful in life, learning that there's a lot of things that are out, out there outside of their own neighborhood, uh, and knowing that there's a big world that they can go out and chase their dreams and achieve anything they set their mind to. We made it out of the wild without a scratch. Only looking forward to our time spent at Hollywood Studios tomorrow. But for now, reporting in Orlando, Amy Faisenbaker, 44 News.